Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Civilization V. Last episode, we started a new game as King Casimir of Poland, and we've had a pretty decent start so far. We have an excellent, like, our starting location is excellent. Absolutely excellent. Horses from Antwerp, very good. Uh, a lot of resources. Uh, we, we got lucky. We managed to uh, get a Pantheon that, you know, catered to our, our situation very well. The only thing is, is our secondary city placement is... Average at best. Uh, I've got two potentials that I'm th thinking about. Uh, the one I'm thinking about for my next city is probably going to be way up north here because it has ample um, iron. Uh, it does have a luxury resource, and I can get a coastal province out of it. So that could work out well for me. It could. It might. Uh, maybe after the water mill, we'll do a settler, I think, and send him up there. We have to escort him up, though. Definitely have to escort him up. That would involve, hmm, might need to build a, an archer first then. We'll see. I mean, Warsaw is an amazing city right now. Uh, tons and tons of food, tons of production. And we're actually going to get more food and more production right now. I mean, a lot of food, a lot of extra food means our settlers should build quickly. Oh, shit. So Alright, so that's unfortunate. Uh, choose production. Let's get, uh, well, archer. Range strength of 10. So let's get the chariot archer. And let's do masonry next. No. Horseback riding, because we'll get the ducal stable. So he's going to burn this down. Most likely. Which is unfortunate. Yep. Alright, there we go. That's unfortunate. we got to rebuild that now. But we're going to get the, the Chariot Archer in there to protect our our city and its improvements. And then we'll build a Settler and we'll send him up north. Heal. Repair for four turns. Good. What's nice about playing the game right now is that I'm playing on a, a solid state drive. Where the last time I played it was on a really old hard drive. Regular optical disc hard drive. And the difference is pretty astonishing. Let's actually have this guy move over this way and attack this barbarian encampment before we... No, what? No, what? No, no, no. Before we... We got we got to try to get Stonehenge. Stonehenge will give us a solid lead on everyone else in faith. So we're going to try to build Stonehenge before anything else. And a Golden Age. Which, Golden Age means it's going to happen even quicker. Let's adopt a policy. Uh, gold and uh, minus one unhappiness for every two citizens in the capital. Uh, adopting tradition early, adopting all policies in the tree will grant you 15% growth and a free aqueduct. Also allows person of great engineers, yes. So we're going to do all these. Close. Alright. And we probably re just spawned that. Getting close to a religion. 225 of 300. Ooh, one shot him. Nice. Ah! Kamehameha, the pious of Polynesia. We finally met another player. He must have landed his... You know, I think the Polynesians have the ability to embark, like, right away, so that's probably why they managed to get over here so quickly. That Golden Age hit perfect timing. It's while I was trying to build a wonder, which, is actually, which actually knocked, like, four turns off of the wonder construction. One of my favorite mods to use. This is actually completely unmodded right now. I wanted to do a completely vanilla playthrough before anything else. One of my favorite mods is the one that gives you unlimited experience for fighting barbarians. Because that means you can farm experience on your first few units. Yeah, pretty crazily. Oh yeah, like they get to embark right off the bat. And we're, we're almost at a level uh, size 9. Not level 9, size 9. Losing grasp on Antwerp. That's okay. We can. There's always more we can do to get them back on our side. Looks like they've been attacked by barbarians a lot. Alright, so six more turns. Looks like we're going to get it. It definitely looks like we're going to get it. Get out of my territory. No longer an ally. Not a big deal. Let's... Huh. 
We gotta try to take this guy out first. He's been built on faraway land. So I could have built the Great Library if I wanted to. In retrospect, I could have built it. Alright, fortify. But the not not having gotten it really wasn't that big of a deal. I got the Temple of Artemis, which is going to increase the si the growth rate of all of my cities. Another Pantheon was founded. Let's fortify and heal. Uh, open sky, so culture from pastures. Let's get a farm going. Gonna get Stonehenge. You know what sucks is that if you complete a a wonder on the exact same turn as somebody else, as an AI, the AI gets it, but you don't. Perfect. Time crumbles things. Everything grows old and is forgotten under the power of time. Oh, love the voice. Don't you just love it? All right, now we're going to build a settler. I was really hoping this would be complete. Yes, look, we can accept the embassy. I was really hoping this would be done with by the time the the settler were built. I might still be able to get it. Ah, now I'm classical. And we're going to go with aristocracy. Yes, now tradition is complete. Uh, time for some research. Let's see, what do we want? Let's do masonry next. Uh, two more turns and I should have a, a... What's it called? A religion. Just five more turns to my settler, but then... Oh, fuck, they spawned another guy. I was worried about that. Uh, well... We'll probably have to abandon this and escort him up here. Because he's got a long ways to go. A long way to go. but Or there's the option to escort him with my horse archers and build another unit to defend my capital. Guess we'll figure it out. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. We got this shit. Antwerp is under attack. All right. They'll probably both attack me. Severely damage me, but probably not kill the unit. I don't think they'll kill that unit. But I didn't think I would lose my... Why do I not have a... Huh. Why do I... Why do I not have a uh, Great Prophet yet? Okay, I thought it was 300 I would get it. Oh, there it is. It's a little delay there for some reason. And you'll have to move with him, to guard him. And then you are going to found a religion. And we're going to choose some production. We're going to build a duple stable. We're going to found a religion. Uh, let's go with... Do, do, do. Taoism, Shikism, Shinto. Let's do Shinto. We're going to be Shinto Poland. I mean... Orthodoxy was already taken, I think. Yeah. All right, so. Founder belief. We got to pick something. Culture for followers. Gold for followers. Happiness for... Uh, plus five to resting influence with city-states. Plus two gold for each city following this religion. Happiness for every two cities following this religion. Let's go with culture. And what else do we want here? Production. I usually do this one. That one's usually use, super useful. Or we could do use faith to purchase pagodas. Use faith to purchase mosques. Use faith to purchase pre-industrial units. Cathedrals. Let's go with pagodas. That seems very Shinto. Oh, there we go. We got a religion. Alright, 
Where to next? Ah, right here. That's where you're going next. And I gotta work on getting my my settler up north. What I could do in the meantime, actually, I could I send this guy over here and help take out this as the settler goes by. I think that should be safe. It should be relatively safe to try that. What am I building right now? Ducal stables, right? So you attack. You attack. There we go. So that's gone now. At least it won't spawn units anymore. And you'll move on by. Yes. Gotta build the... Was that plantation? If that dies. Declaration of Friendship with Polynesia? I can get on board with that. I mean, they seem far away to me, but the, it's a huge map, and it hasn't, you know, zoomed out at all yet. Alright, so let's attack. Attack. Alright, research. Yeah, we're gonna have a, uh, a coastal city, so I think that's gonna be useful. And then after this, we'll probably bug out. I think he'll probably attack me again. Well, luxury I would like, officer. They'll they'll give me 261 gold and two gold for 45 turns in return for salt. I have salt to spare, so I will accept that. I will gladly accept that. Now you are going to fortify. You are going to move ahead of this unit. Make sure he doesn't get wrecked. And you are going to head north. I think we're definitely in the lead in terms of faith now. At plus nine, that's a lot. All right, and you can actually heal for a turn while this guy moves on. Shit! They can run out and get me. That sucks. All right, Mausoleum of Halicarnassus. Gold for each time a great person expended. Each sorts of marble and stone worked by the city gets plus two gold. I have no marble and no stone to be worked. Now we don't have anybody defending right now, so why don't we build a, another chariot archer to defend our city with. Don't run out and get me. Don't run out and get me. Don't run. Thank you. Thank you for leaving me alone. Shit! All right. All right. All right. So you are going to go on alert. You are going to promote it, and we're going to go open terrain here and attack. And the settler is going to... I'm going to try to keep him going. Damn it! Fuck. Barbarians everywhere. Okay. Happiness? Do we need happiness? No, our happiness is good. Barracks. Can't build a caravan. No available trade routes. They're too far away. So let's build the caravanessery. Caravanessery. Whatever it's called. That sucks. That, that guy's definitely gonna come and get me. <sighs> Shit. All right, I need I you, I I gotta get this guy working. Cause it's gonna take me a long time to get that guy back. That sucked. Ran into a barbarian. Went the other way. Ran into a barbarian. Well, at least it's a chariot archer, so he'll get up there quickly. And this guy's almost dead. So, and gardens have been built. Mausoleum of, of Halicarnassus has been built. Oh, really bummed out that that happened because that really slows down my progress. He's gonna be right here. I know it. And we can get like we can get within range this next turn. Oh, maybe not. Lumber mill, terracotta army. Ooh. Let's do that. Oh well. That sucked. Gotta try to get him back. Well, maybe this this might make Antwerp like us attacking this guy. No! Oh, Antwerp, you asshole! Oh, you fucking asshole! Son of a whore! 
God damn it. Oh, fuck you, Antwerp. Fuck you. We were friends. Son of a bitch. Ah, oh, that sucked. Antwerp destroyed my settler. Ah, damn it. Wow, someone is really ahead of me. Oh, they, they got that fucking 40 turns before me. Settler. Huh. <sighs> that was a big shot to the... That was a big shot to my expansion right there. That slowed me down a lot. Antwerp, you're a dick. That, that, that went just about as bad as it could have gone. It gave him a free worker, too. Yeah, they got a free worker out of it. Kamehameha building the Great Lighthouse? That makes perfect sense to me. Le legitimately, I wasn't being sarcastic. Alright, you get to go back then. And let's see, let's bring you over here, and you stay, like, here. And we're gonna have to get that settler. That sent me back, like, 15 turns. Antwerp, you're a dick. We were supposed to be mates. We're supposed to be friends here. Oh, you know what? That's a barbarian encampment right there. Let's kill it. <sighs> Need more workers, too. Get a, get a road going all the way up to Antwerp and then to my other city. Which will be what? Ludz? I don't remember what the second city in Poland is. Right, unit needs orders. <sighs> Pain in my butt. Pain in the butt. That's what you are, Antwerp. Pain in the tuchus. Hopefully they don't spawn in another unit before I get to move in there. All right, you're gonna go on alert. Now we got another settler built. And they must have that that other religion must have just a ton of you know daily faith to be able to beat plus nine. Still out of range, that's unfortunate. So, library? We could build a library. Get us a little bit more research. Just keep shooting this barbarian ship. Although it looked like he healed. Did he heal that turn? He might have healed. And there might be another barbarian encampment up here. There, well, probably. Well, we should probably go up there and look with this guy before my settler gets too too close. There we go. A little bit of, a little bit of experience out of that guy too. Should be almost done with that. Pantheon was built in a faraway land. Pantheon's pretty good. I don't really remember what it gives you, but I remember it's good. Where the hell are you guys coming from? Boom. Pantheon, what does that give you? Will it show me? No, it just says it's been built in a faraway land. Alrighty here. Man, where are these guys coming from? It's like oodles of them. They're just ships, though, so there's not really too much to worry about. Alrighty. That's done. Um, move there, move there. Alright, start, keep moving up. Terracotta Army. 
Creates a copy of each type of military land unit you control and place the uh, unit near the city where the terracotta army was constructed. Do I want that? It's gonna double my military. Coliseum. I don't think I necessarily want that. I mean, sure, more for, like free units is great, but... Culture plus four, yeah, that's what that was. It's great and all, but it's oh, you, know, you gotta pay the upkeep on those guys. I don't necessarily want to pay the upkeep on those guys. Whoop. Whoop. Alrighty, making our way back up. Getting close to where we were before. Are we not working this right now? Might not be working. Uh, somebody else was building the terracotta army anyway. I would have gotten like one turn in and then would have finished. It's a shame I have to go so far to get a good, good second city placement. I mean, I would have liked to pick that spot down south, but the one up north is just so much better. Oh, and we're about to increase in size again, which is amazing. Got a, I mean, Poland's got a lot of, or Poland, um, Warsaw has a lot of food, so it's increasing in size pretty readily. Oh, and there's a barbarian encampment up there adjacent to the province I want to settle on. So we're going to have to take care of that. Send this guy up here. Alright, no, I don't want to go there. I want to go all the way up. I got all that free iron. Well, not free. I'm going to... I worked hard for it. Antwerp, you're still a dick. Alright, let's see here. Move. Move. Almost there. So you can camp there. And what we're going to do is start getting some more workers. Because what I'm going to need to do is build a road all the way up to Antwerp and then over to my second city. Which I think is going... I want to say it's going to be Ludz. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right though. All right, almost there. One more turn, and we'll be there, and then turn after that, build the city. Finally. And we're cl getting close to being able to enhance our religion. All right, what are we going to do next? Whew, aesthetics, which is culture. Doubles the policy uh, theming bonus you receive from Museum and Wonders. Okay, okay, purchase people for faith. Culture, great artist appears. Increased tourism modifier. Patronage, piety. Uh, Charlie, great props to appear in the holy sites to provide plus three culture. Shrines and temples. Students and buildings. Gold output. Also get Pantheon belief bonus of the second most popular. Okay. If you founded a religion, you get, you get a bonus for... Our, okay, let's go piety. Because we definitely want to do that. Dot policy. Oh, I thought I did that. Oh, it was just... My, oh, okay, it, just, it was just hanging out there for a second. Alright, there we go. That's where we want to go. We're going to get the gems, and we're going to get all that iron. I mean, we're pretty damn close. It's only, not, only going to be like six more. Choose... Let's go mathematics. All right, we don't need you up here anymore, so we can send you back down south. You can go bloop right there. You can just um, fortify and heal. Choose production. Uh, first things first, a granary. Good. Warsaw's got its worker. What we're going to do is start building that road we're going to need an easy connection to go up this way. I'm just going to go straight through the woods. Alert. Choose production. Hmm. Oh, we can finally get a caravan. Good. Hopefully it doesn't get sacked by barbarians on the way. I mean, it could. Very well could. Uh, most literate people. I am at the bottom, so I have the least amount of techs. 
by like 25%, 20%. Uh, we can, uh, we're gonna do roads, that's what we're doing. I'm just gonna put this guy kind of in between, and have him hang out there, because the, uh, caravan's gonna be going past here. I wanna make sure I have someone nearby guard against barbarians. Actually, you're not doing anything right now. Well, we could, we could do stuff with him. Right here is where I want to go. On that hill, because they'll get sight on the other side of it. Alrighty. Oh, what was the name of that city, by the way? Krakow. Alright, Krakow. Or with Krakow. Yeah, we are working these tiles, so we can build improvements there. That'll be beneficial for me. Farm. There we go. Get the caravan going. That'll give us a little bit of Petra. It's been built a faraway land. I believe Petra gives you, like, culture and faith for desert tiles that are just desert tiles with nothing, like, next to them. You know, no rivers, no oasis is 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 Really, really good if you've got, um, you know, cities in the middle of a desert. You can get tons of faith from that. Or not. Well, you can definitely get to Krakow, so relocate there. And Krakow and them can go together. I guess that'll work. Might as well get a circus going. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, and I just noticed my dog somehow managed to get her hands on my grocery list and shredded it. Oh, well, make a new one. There's a road there, right? Yeah, there is. Alert. So let's trade route. Right there. Really easy, simple one. What I really would like to do is get one from Antwerp to Warsaw, but I don't have the range for that because that's pretty far. I have to pop a city down in between or wait till the range increases. One or the other. There's not really a... I mean, this would be good city placement if there was... Well, you know what? I don't necessarily need to have a luxury resource there. It would have tons of production. It'd be a good city placement like in here. There's lots of stuff here. There'd be plenty of food. There'd be plenty of production. It just would lack a... It would lack a, any, any sort of luxury resource. But I have a really high happiness right now, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. Engineering. Yes, we're going to do that. Or do we want to do... Let's do engineering. Allows me to bridge rivers. Are there, are there any rivers in my way? Not really. Not really any rivers in my way right now. Let's do another settler. Alrighty. Boop. You're dead. Alert. Alrighty. I think I will put a city up here, because that'll kind of link between... You know, put a good link in here. Between the south and the north. And I can just... I can build a road straight up here. And then continue it up here, and then over that way. I like that. So we'll keep the road going this way. While we build the settler. I mean... Strategically, I think it's a really good idea. And I, like I said, I, I'm getting luxury resources from Antwerp, so my happiness is really good. So I think it'll be worth it. Barbarians are basically taken care of in my land right now. So I don't have to worry about them too much. Alright, so it's really, it's already been 45 turns since we did that. Build the farm there. Shouldn't we have hit a great person? Oh, it's 450. I thought it was 350. It's 450. Alright, so you just skip. Choose production. Coliseum. What are we working with up here? Still 28 turns away. I want to get that great person and get the um, 
religion enhancement. I guess we gotta go around him. I thought it would just let me jump over. Alright, maybe... Why does it not hit right away? I feel like as soon as you get it, it should hit. It should hit. Horses from Antwerp. Ah, there we go. Alright, so enhance religion. And you're gonna move up this way. Enhance my religion. Second belief. Alrighty, so we get to pick another belief. We're gonna go with religious community. Production from each follower up to a maximum of 15%. And let's see. Uh, faster. Conversion strength. Profits 25% stronger. Earned with 25% less faith. Combat bonus. Ah, that's the one I like. Enhance religion. It lets you, lets you spread your religion to cities that are further away. So, will this actually... Is, it, is there any pressure? There might not be any pressure to uh, this far away. I don't remember how you check. Oh, well. But anyway, we're going to end this episode right here. If you have enjoyed it, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus Play Civilization V, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.